I have a minor dilemma about how to figure out life. There's this is um, automatic me, which I wonder is it a I don't know, like, I, uh, is it a, a combination of everything that I've ever been taught kind of thing? There's an easiness to being able to look at a situation in my in my soul, in my in my gut, and be able to just easily uh, say something. But that thing, if you look at it from another aspect, doesn't seem quite nice. And yet I see myself as a nice person. So I like I stop myself from posting sometimes because it, it will come out mean because I'm consciously aware of sometimes consciously aware of the words that I'm saying is not going to be understood. And also uh, the I Ching always pulls me in line when I want to be my authentic self and say something but I know that it's going to put them, it's going to trigger them, trigger the other person. So I try and say it in a different way. And my, my tiny dilemma, it's probably big, because if I can get past, if I can get, if I can understand this, it could um, be the insight that I need, you never know. But like when you're relaxed and authentically, you know, you know, on, you're on the couch with your friends and you're just talking whatever and it's just easy and it doesn't, you don't have to worry about people's feelings and things like that because they know you and, you know, anything you say is all part of it. Like when I'm having a private conversation uh, with one of my friends that I can talk to about anything, I don't really hold back. I just say it how it is, like say it how I see it. Even though I know sometimes, like even though I might even say, you know, this sounds mean, but this is what I think, blah, 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 blah. And um, it's just so easy to be able to express your authentic self, even if you know that you're not being your most um, kind self. You're sort of pushing the boundaries, and even though... Uh, you know that your friend might not even see it the same way. You still feel comfortable enough with them to be able to express that that's the way that you're seeing it, even though you don't want to be able to, even though you don't want to be seeing it in that light. It's like my ego wants to say this, blah blah blah, blah and that's so easy. So is that blah blah blah, blah that uh, blab? Is that my authentic me or is that my conditioned brainwashing programmed for life what is expected of me from society like the that that is the normal way people talk and so I'm easy enough to say that uh, I look so deeply into everything that hey why not look right deeply into exactly how to respond to other people naturally it's like so the I Ching pulls me up and, and tells and lets me know when I'm validates sorry because I already know validates when something I'm saying is not you know that I need a change of attitude to correct uh, the disharmonious thing that I've directed <laughs> and that only I have the power to fix it and the only way to fix it is to change my outlook even though my outlook feels right to me even though my outlook feels more honest to me even though my outlook feels more authentic to me it's not very nice sometimes so that's what I'm going to ponder today that easiness like from me my authentic self is so out there compared to you know what I experience on a daily life that I am constantly pulling myself up to create harmony and I feel like that's important like I actually feel like that's important it's not you know 
Like we've got to, we've got to be more understanding about where other people are at. Careful about where other people are at. We're not all at the same. We're not all experiencing the same thing. And my way of looking at things can shock people because it is all about you know taking responsibility for your own stuff. But also part of my stuff is taking responsibility for my stuff. And maybe my easiness of you know my view, my you know it's something that that I express that is so true in my being in that it's so easy to express but maybe that's what I need to scrutinize or not you know maybe I'm just making things way more complicated <laughs> than they need to be maybe there's no right or wrong way it's just it is what it is but if you're you know conscious that you the words that you're saying are um, harmful to other people even though you mean no harm by it you really mean no harm by it but you understand that their perspective may trigger them but no one likes to take responsibility for their own stuff and I like to pull put because I'm taking responsibility for my own stuff and this is why this is such a you know dilemma is because I'm taking responsibility for my own stuff that's what's on my mind right now and so when I can see in others that they're not taking responsibility for their own stuff I don't say anything but I think so easily and I might um, if I were to have a conversation with someone it would be so easily I'd be saying it's this blah 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 I think it's this kind of thing I wouldn't know because I'm not experiencing it through their eyes but I would have my easiness of perspective of what I feel like that person is going through and it would be so easy and I would never be able to say those words to that person because you know their ego is so um, you know uh, holding on to that reality of what they believe is true but when I when I see people complaining and I know that I was them but when I see them complaining I have my own opinion about what is going on um, with them and that opinion feels very easy to me very authentic but that opinion would trigger them because maybe that trigger is what they need you know that's their reflection of what they need to work on and that's how I see it but because they don't see it that way you know they just see everybody else doing something to them which is also how I lived so I know what movies of green they're perceiving the world through I know they're seeing it that way and because right now in this cycle I'm not seeing it that way I'm actually seeing everything as um, you know what can I learn from this and I just think it's much easier maybe it's not truth but it's it's um, more powerful more mastering controlling your own life when you know that you have control over how you feel about things so that if, it, if something triggers you then it's not the other person's um, you know issue at all it's it's like okay so something triggered me how can I not make it trigger me anymore so that they don't have that power over me so it's more I see it as well you know more self-empowering to be able to look at it and go well that triggered me and it shouldn't have because it's not really anything or that triggered me and it's something huge but it's something within me that it's getting triggered and I yeah I do have a dilemma I know I can't speak my truth to them but I wonder I'm, my dilemma is I guess is it my authentic self that is coming out with this easy this easy way of looking at somebody else's life is that my authentic me or is that my programming yeah I do I think too much into everything <laughs> I'm gonna go for a coffee